Hi guys, welcome back. This is Miss Vicki coming to you from Inspire Arts. And today we are going to be sharing our best practices with chalk pastels. So chalk pastels is one of our favorite mediums to use here at the studio. However, I completely understand that it is probably one of the most difficult um, mediums to actually share with a classroom of 35 or 30, 30 children. So here are our best practices of what we do when we go into a classroom. So first of all, we have a set of chalk pastels. So if you should have a set of chalk pastels and you want to have this in your classroom, if you've got a set like this is a set of 12, the first thing that you want to do is actually you never, we never, I didn't say you never, but we never really give the students a big chunk like this because it's very cumbersome. So what we're going to ask is that you actually break it into three pairs. So technically one, one set can actually work for three students. And the reason for this is that it is a lot easier to shade things with um, a smaller piece than it is with a larger piece like this. And also it just extends the life of your chalk pastels and you're able to actually use one set for more than one child. So with that, we are going to, I just wanna kinda of show you, one of the things that we do is we actually go into the school, go into your classroom, and we cover up your table, the, the child's individual table, with a newsprint paper like this. You can use um, newspaper, but as long as there is something on the child's table, that would be amazing. Um, in regards to paper that we use, you can actually use regular, good old fashioned copy paper. We tend to use, for our larger classrooms, we tend to use cardstock just because it is a little bit thicker, a um, little bit more sturdier, a little bit more grit. However, I, we understand budgets are really low, so we understand that having chalk pastels is a is a benefit all in its own. So if you don't, if you if you don't have the paper, then you, you, used, you used it for your chalk pastel, that's totally fine. It works with this too. So one of the techniques that we use, and I'm going to kind of, if you would like to practice this with us teachers, you are welcome to do so. I'm going to use the good old fashioned circle here to show um, a technique of how to apply, how to apply chalk pastel. So first thing that we do whatever color you want your background to be. And I'm going to say that I would like my background in to be blue. I'm gonna make sure that these are all cut in half. So we're going to tell the students to use the flat side. And one of the techniques that I use is we ask them to try to stay as neat as possible. We also say, hold on to your, hold on to your paper like this, flat side. Excuse me. And sometimes if they're brand new, like this one, it does it. Um, it just takes a little bit because it's a little bit too smooth for the grit to actually come on. So we're just going to do one at a time, one layer at a time. And if you guys already notice, what's going to start to happen is it will get very dusty very fast. And this is one of the reasons why this is such a difficult medium to use, but don't let this stop you. There are ways to actually try to keep the mess to a minimum. So one of that is one layer at a time. Having the students only do that, what you will see is you'll see this. Okay, so notice the excess dust that happens. So if you only do one layer at a time, um, that will actually be a lot more, um, less mess for you at the end of the day or at the end of the activity. If this should happen and it is very dusty, you can tell your kids or your students to flip it, turn it over and then push it down. And it's okay if they get it on the back of their paper. 
So the reason we used to have them blow it off, however, because of bad ventilation in classrooms, having them tap it would be the best thing to do. And we want to say thank you to Miss Sears um, and Newcomb Elementary for giving us that little tidbit. So we really appreciate it. So from here, we would have them blend with two fingers slowly and gently, excuse me, holding on to the paper just like this. And if you're trying this at home or if you're looking at this on your cell phone um, and trying it out in your classroom, one of the things that we do in some of our teacher trainings is we just have you kind of take note of the dynamics of your class. You might say like, okay, this student may have some sensitivity issues with their hands, so maybe putting gloves on them or um, having them use a tissue paper would actually work. And that would be all completely fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply a color on the inside. So same technique using the flat side. Again, you just wanna get them used to using the flat side and doing one layer at a time like this. Now, one of the techniques that you can also use is if their hands are already dirty like mine and you've got the blue on here, one of the things that you could have them do instead of wiping it on their shirt, which happens, you can have them close their hands like this. <sighs> Maybe take a deep breath and have them kind of twist their hand like this. So we don't want them to do this because then the dust will come out. We also don't want them to just rub it so fast. Again, more dust comes out, but if they do this and they twist their hand, what ends up happening is that your hand, the oils of your hand actually start cleaning it. So it lets you get ready to actually um, blend chalk pastel. So from here, going back into, you're just going to go ahead and blend. And again, it gets really, really dusty. Tilt, tilt it. And again, the back, it's okay what the back looks like, right? Again, we don't want any chalk pastel kind of moving around. Um, oh, also, teachers, if your student is having a hard time getting it out, one of the ways that you can do this is, oh, excuse me, pushing, pushing it at the bottom, and that should be able to get your chalk pastels out. So go ahead and take another color to be your shadow color for your ball teachers. And we're just going to go ahead and add a shadow. All right, so one of the best practices that we have for this, again, if you wanna clean your hands, go ahead and twist, right? Um, one of the things that we tell our students is, imagine sand on top of sand. This is what chalk pastel is like. So if they have their second layer of color, you don't wanna move that color around too much. So for your shadow, you wanna just take your finger and trace it. Excuse me, we're just tracing it. See that? Very slowly and very gently. Then tap. And again, the reason for that is if we did this, more of the color will actually spread out. But if we just slowly traced it, then that would be, um, would help all of your shading and your shadows. And my last piece here, I'm just gonna add a little sh shadow here on the side. Again, twist my hand. There you go, I could even do this, right? It helps kind of clean it off. Blend my shadow. And if you do decide to blow it off, that is also another technique. And so teachers, go ahead and just practice with the chalk pastel. It's something that we highly recommend before you um, 
get started with our um, classroom ready videos just so you know what to expect and then in regards to cleaning up well first if you can teachers you can go ahead and spray your ball or whatever it may be and we normally spray about four inches away either up top or to the, out off of it and we just do this and what ends up happening is you will actually get little spot marks however once it actually dries and evaporates it will actually disappear but this kind of helps solidify the chalk onto the paper and you can use fixative however um, if you are on a budget, hairspray, aerosol hairspray is totally fine. So regarding cleanup, one of the things that our best practice for cleanup, if you have your piece of paper, we, we ask them so the dust does not fall all over the place and start spreading around, we ask that you fold your paper halfway, whether it's a newspaper or newsprint, and we also have them fold it another way this way and we also have them fold it like this and then if they get really fold happy you can have them fold it another time so that way none of the chalk and the dust gets thrown into the garbage and starts um, just kind of spreading into the air this is our chalk pastel best practices video we hope that this is helpful and we thank you so much for bringing art into your classroom and we wish you an inspiring day